Alright guys, my name is Sooty and today I'm bringing you a review of 66846 in Colas Rail Freight Livery by Backman. If we start by taking a look at the outer packaging first, as you can see this is the latest style Batman packaging, which is um, the loco in a block of ice within a box within the sleeve. On the back it has a very very generic class 66 brief history. It's a bit of a shame really, there's nothing specific about this loco on the back, it's more generic to the class itself rather than this particular loco. We'll just flip the box over, have a quick look at the product information panel. As you can see the product number for this loco is 32-736 and it is a class 66 diesel 66846 in Colas Rail Freight livery. Also this comes fitted as standard with a 21 pin DCC socket. Right, that's the outside of the packaging done. Let's get her open and have a look at the main components of the packaging. Here we have the main components of the packaging broken down. As you can see, we have the loco within the block of ice, the clear plastic sleeve which goes around the block of ice, the box in which the loco and block of ice sits, and lastly, the outer sleeve which goes around the box. Within the packaging, obviously, you'll find the loco, and also these two sets of instruction sheets. The one on the left is a very generic class 66 maintenance sheet. It tells you all the basic general information, how to chip her, how to run her in, how to turn the lights on and off, how to fit and where to fit the detail on the buffer beam. Also on the back is a diagram of all the parts which you can buy a replacement if you need them. Also this one on the right, as you can see this is for the collector's club and application form and also it's a warranty form which you can send off. Right, that's the main packaging done. Let's have a look at the loco itself. For the review itself, I thought I'd just show you the accessory pack first. As you can see, as with all Class 66 locos by Batman, you get two air dams, a set of vac pipes, and a spare coupling. Right, that's out of the way now. Let's get on with the main deal, what you're all here for. Let's have a look at the loco itself. And here she is. Alright, let's start by taking a look at this cab first. As standard with all Batman Class 66s, she's uh, very detailed, very true, very lifelike to the prototype on which she's based. The windscreen wipers, the white handrail which you can just about see, and also the lamp hook, they are come fitted as standard. Unique to this particular 66 and a few others, she comes fitted as standard with a Buckeye coupler, which is a nice touch. Also, on the front, when the camera focuses, you can see she comes with two warning stickers for the electrical overhead cables. Very clear, very crisply printed on the side of the loco. Also, it's nice how they've picked out detail on the steps on the front. And also, the light clusters are also in yellow. It's a nice touch. Another nice touch with the Batman 66 is the heated lines on the on the um, windscreens. Each one has one at the top and one at the bottom of the window. It's a nice touch by Batman, very well detailed. As usual, it comes fitted with sprung buffers. Also, as standard with Batman 66s and all other newer Batman models, she comes fitted with working lights. She has a white light formation for when she's heading towards you and also two red lights for when she's heading away from you. Another feature is that she has a cab light which illuminates when requested. If we take a look at the cab, once the camera zooms and focuses, as you can see she comes fitted with a driver and also the console which he's looking at in front of him. You can't really see it but there is dials and other bits of detail picked out in colour which is another fantastic bit of detail which Batman at sell at. If we move on to the side of the loco, as you can see there's a little hard hat logo and a coalless rail which is very clear, very crisp, very well printed onto the side as is the 66846. Moving along a bit further you can see a door which comes fitted with handrails also a moulded grille which is a nice touch as you can hear it's textured which is fantastic 
moving a bit further along you can see the main coalless rail freight livery logos they're very well applied as I've said before on another 66 review I think it was the GBRF rail freight one it's on a textured surface it's ridged and they've done a cracking job getting that livery applied nice and crisp nice and flat to the loco body it's very nice touch also as you can see with this loco it's a kind of two tone effect half the loco is a yellowy green kind of colour the other half is an orange with a black upper part as you can see all the lo all the livery is applied very crisp very clear there's no blurring it's all very sharp very well applied moving along a bit further we come to another set of moulded grills again as you can hear they are textured and here we are at the other cab end pretty much exactly the same as the other side only difference is this is orange rather than green as you can see two handrails on the door and also very nice window detail as you can probably just about see there is stickers on the window moving to the underframe of the loco nice detail picked out on the steps not a lot of detail picked out on the bogies which is a shame would be nice to say the axle boxes might have been a bit of a different colour but nevertheless very nice as usual and as standard with Batman very nice moulded bogies also a nice touch is that they painted the wheels black they look quite nice moving along to the centre of the undercarriage as you can see the battery box and the fuel tank a couple of nice touches on these as you can see just to the right of the fuel tank there's a little sign, a little sticker which says fuel only and also on the battery box there's a warning symbol for electricity and also a warning sign for explosions Moving along to the other bogey, again not a great amount of detail, very plain, very similar to the other side. As you can probably just about see there's two little bits picked out in red. I'm not entirely sure what they are but it's a nice little touch. The ladders, again they've done a nice job painting them up, making them stand out. If we just spin the loco around, let's have a look at the other side of it. Again, we'll start with this cab end. It's exactly the same as the other end. The only real differences are the lack of driver in the cab, and also instead of a Buckeye coupler, this is a standard NEM coupler. Again, sprung buffers, and also working lights. It's exactly the same as the other cab, exactly what you'd expect. Moving along to the side, again, the Coalless Rail logo very clear very crisp as is the rest of the livery no blurring where the different colours meet as you can see here there's three colours that meet the black the yellow and the orange it's all very clear and all very crisp it looks cracking it's very nice as is the coatless rail freight logo that's again as I said before as it's printed on a ridged side it's very well applied very flat very clear very crisp they've done a lovely job on this one Moving along a bit further, back to the other cab end, again a door, two painted handrails which are fitted separate, and same cab detail, same coalless rail logo. Moving on to the underframe, exactly the same as the other side, not a whole lot of detail on the bogies, nice bits of detail picked out on the ladders. Same again with the fuel tanks, battery boxes, same little warning stickers, same amount of moulded detail, very nice. Again with the second set of bogies, very nice. Moving on to the roof, as you can see here, very very nice grill, nice and textured, I think this is an etched grill. As usual Batman have done a great job with this 66. Moving along again, you can see some moulded hatches on the roof, they're a nice touch as well, they're raised. Moving a bit further along you can see the exhaust, they've done a particularly nice job with this, they've got the exhaust colour nice, and also this light bit of silver around the manifold, it's very nice as well. A bit further along, same cab detail as the other end, they've got the shape, the profile of the 66 Perfect, 
It does look like a shed, as the nickname for enthusiasts goes. And there we have it. A review of 66846 in Colas Rail Freight Livery by Batman. A few thoughts of my own. It's a very nice loco. Batman have done a very, very good job applying the livery as it seems quite simple but it is quite a complex livery when you look at the colours and the shapes of the of the livery. Where the colours meet, it's all very crisp, very clear. There's no blurring of the colours. They've done a fantastic job. As usual, it's up to Batman's usual very high standard. For me, personally, Batman set the standard when it comes to locos. Some Hornby ones are very good, such as the um, 67. I'm very impressed with that. And also Helgen, they make nice locos too. But for me, I prefer Batman. I think they're currently the best. This loco... I'd probably give it a 9 out of 10. I've not really got any reason to mark it down, other than the fact that eventually it is going to get better. Batman's 66. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but there's always room for improvement. There's always something you'll find that can be done a little bit better. Maybe a bit of detail or the running mechanism, anything. So for now, 9 out of 10. It's a very nice model. I thoroughly recommend anyone gets this who's into modern image running. I've been waiting for this for about a year now and it was released the start of March 2013 so I've only recently got it myself. It's a very nice model, I'm very happy I got it. It's brilliant, I can't recommend it enough. Just leave you a few last little shots before I go. Last words, again, 9 out of 10, can't recommend it enough. If you don't have one, you should get one.